It's time for Orchard CMS. According to Docker, over 3.5 million applications have been placed in containers using Docker technology, and over 37 billion containerized applications have been downloaded. With that kind of acceptance in the industry, a developer should take advantage of Docker's convenience of container technology. Today I'm going to show you how to create a Docker container for the My Orchard Core CMS web application and connect it to a Microsoft SQL Server with Docker Compose. <music> Welcome back to Orchard CMS. In a previous video, we got started with Orchard Core by creating a My Orchard Core CMS web application. Let's create a Docker container for that application and then define a YAML file used in Docker Compose to connect it to a Microsoft SQL Server Docker container. So let's do this in Visual Studio Code. It's a lot easier. Fire up Visual Studio Code. And here's our My Orchard Core CMS web application. Okay, the first thing we want to do is install the Docker extension. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll click on the extension icon and let's search for Docker. And there it is. Let's go ahead and install that. That'll make our life easier. All right. Docker's all installed here. The first thing I'd like to do is set up some utilities. So one of the utilities that is one of the utilities that is the holy grail that is so important to me is Docker Clean Script. So let's go ahead and create a Docker dash clean shell script. Okay. There's going to be three very important commands, and they have to go in that order. And one of them is Docker stop, and that stops the container, docker rm, which removes the container, and docker rmi, which removes the images. And you'll notice that everything's wrapped in a dollar sign docker ps. So what it does, it lists all the containers and it stops it. Then it lists all the containers again and removes them and then lists all the container images and removes them. And that gives you a clean slate. So if you're using Docker and you get messed up, you have all this stuff in there, just run these three commands and everything's pristine and clean. I recommend this script. It's it's probably my most favorite script for Docker. Okay, so now let's get started creating the actual Docker container. So let's create the Docker file. Click on the plus file icon. This Docker file will define my Orchard Core CMS. It will build the whole application and deploy it. Where I got this script from is I just went into Visual Studio and generated it. Let's go over and, and look at it. So the first thing it does is um, it gets a container, which is ASP.NET 3.0 Buster Slim, and defines that as the base. Then it sets up the working directory, and it exposes port 80 and 443 for your web. Port 80 is HTTP, and 443 is HTTPS. Then it gets an image which contains the SDK 3.0 as a build environment. It sets the working directory to source, and then it copies the project directory and the my git config, and then it does a, a restore. Then it copies all the files across and sets the working directory, and then does .NET build on the project, and it outputs to the app build directory. It goes ahead, and from build, it has a publish. So it makes another layer, and it does a .NET publish. And then finally, it goes back to the Buster Slim, and from base as final, it sets a working directory, and then it copies the publish to the app publish, and then it sets your application entry point where your application starts, and it does a .NET My Orchard Core CMS .dll, and that's it. When there's a, a Docker file, you should have a Docker ignore file. So let's create a new file and call it docker ignore it's just a template that you can get off the web and, and microsoft will actually create it for you when you create a docker file so that's where i got this from so now the next thing we want to do is to create a docker compose yaml file and this will define the environment where your 
your Docker Compose will be running. So we're going to have two Docker images, one for our web application and the other one for SQL Server. So let's go ahead and create our Docker YAML file. So you notice um, we're using the latest version of Docker Compose template, which is 3.7. And then we define two services. The first one is my Orchard Core CMS, and the second one is our MS SQL. And in there, we build the Docker image because we're that's what we're doing there. We set up the ports. So the outside world would be port 8080, and the Docker will be using the inside would be port 80. But we're also saying that this service depends on the Microsoft SQL Server. So that's why you see a dash MS SQL. And then when we define the Microsoft SQL Server, we give it an image, which is their latest image, Server 2017 on Ubuntu. And then we set up the environment. The environment basically is you have the UCLA, which is a license agreement. You have to commit, so you have to accept that. And then you set your SA password, so your user will be SA or administrator, which is the administrator account. And then you set up a password and we're defining the express version. And then we're setting up the ports 1433, which is the standard port for SQL Server. Okay, so we got that all set up. So another thing I'd like to do is we can create two other scripts. Docker compose up dash D dash dash build. Let's create another script. Docker compose down and Docker compose up. And then we have our Docker Compose YAML file. So let's go ahead and close all these. Okay, so one thing, when you click on the Docker icon, it'll actually tell you what images are running here. And so you notice that there's some images out there. So what you can do is, um, let's go ahead and create a terminal. And let's go back to our trusty Docker clean. So let's go ahead and copy these three here. And let's go ahead and paste them. And so now you can see, by executing those three commands, we have completely cleaned everything. So these are like the holy grail of commands. Isn't that awesome? So since we have the Docker extension plugged in, all we have to do is either run our script to do a Docker compose up, the command, or we can just go ahead and get the YAML file, right click on that, and then say compose up. And this will start the whole process of building the containers and getting everything together and start running them in under Docker compose. And this takes a while. So go have a cup of coffee, but it's pretty slick because it automates everything for you. It pulls down the latest images from the internet and glues everything together. For how long it would take you to do this manually, it's just incredibly fast. You can reproduce it. That's what's the best part about it. Okay, now it's doing the build. What's nice is it will download multiple images at a time, so it's multitasking. Okay, now we're doing a restore. So we're copying over to the publish step and and there you go. Both the Docker Compose Microsoft SQL Server is running uh, service and also the Docker Compose My Orchard Core CMS web application is running. So let's go ahead and bring up the browser and let's go to localhost 8080. And there we go. There we go, Orchard Core is running. So let's go ahead and enter in my Orchard Core CMS. Let's select a blog. Let's select, let's see, Denver. And let's go ahead and select SQL Server. How's that? We gotta put our string in. So let's go ahead and paste that in. And let's go let, allow to see it. So we're defining the server as MSSQL, and that was what we named it in our Docker Compose, and then Database Master, User ID, SA, Password, that, Admin, uh, put a password, and we'll hit Finish Setup, and it's chugging away, and there you go. Isn't that cool? We have a whole system running in Docker containers that we can test and we can ha utilize for our own development environment, so that's great. So let's go ahead and check the back end, see if we can get there. And let's do slash admin. And it brings up our login screen. Let's go ahead and hit the login button. And there we go. We can enter our content in and do all the wonderful things of Orchard. Okay, to recap, 
we created a Docker container that contained the My Orchard Core CMS application, and then we defined a YAML file used in Docker Compose to connect it with a Microsoft SQL Server Docker container. Now, if you missed or didn't understand something, that's okay. There is a detailed blog post that describes all the steps. There is also a GitHub repository with the complete source code. All the information is in the video description. If you like the video, please click on the thumbs up icon. Also, please subscribe and click on the bell icon to get notifications when I release the next video. Thank you for watching.